Peace and prosperity be all his listening watching. It's your old Shay Moore, right? And I did not post the video yesterday. <laughs> and I was like, uh, because I'm making a transition and I just totally forgot. I was watching movies all day long yesterday. I was not productive at all. But on the weekends, I, I don't really put pressure on myself to work super hard because I'm working every day. Like working. I have like lists pages full of goals and things that I'm going to accomplish or things that I want to accomplish and I just do my best not to overdo it or I may like wear my body down to the point where I'm not able to do the things I really want and I don't want to push myself or my body beyond its limits or beyond its ability not saying I can't work multiple jobs because at one point I was working three um I'm making a transition for this week. This week is my last week working in a specific location because I am relocating and starting a new job in a different place. Um, so this Friday, November, like I said, this Friday, I'm going to be putting in my two week notice, which is, I'm super happy because I've been long tired of working this specific job or just specific jobs in general uh i'm so ready for the day that i can say hey i am a full-time entrepreneur and all the multiple incomes that i've created for myself i will be happy when they take off but um neither has that happened or has that taken place so i'm still working a job and as disgusting as that sounds coming from my mouth Anyone who is normal, anyone who isn't normal doesn't really believe in working jobs. We just do it to pay our bills. But ultimately, you gotta be sick in the head. Like my father said, you gotta be sick in the head if you think it's okay to work jobs. And it's just, it's just you're building somebody else's dream. Like, I mean, it's all, everybody, I'm gonna say everybody because it's true. Everybody at one point in their lives have a dream or have a vision for themselves or have something that they want to do or have an idea that they think they might be good at. But the difference between the people who go out and do it and those who don't is some people really have an issue with facing confrontation or things in their lives. Um, really like the path of least resistance where there's like, like, it's like they in, they're in love with the thing in which they don't love. They love it, but they don't love it. <laughs> it's weird. It's like they don't like the condition that they're in, but they're, they're so used to doing it and so used to being a part of it and, and so used to this behavior that subconsciously they kind of like it. And it's weird. But that's how most people who don't follow their dreams are there's a lot of people on this earth that won't put forth the effort the bare minimum to make an effort towards the things that they think about or the things they want or the things they say they want to do simply because they still stuck in their ways they don't know how they have fixed mindsets um they they don't know how to shift that paradigm to really go out here and get it and make things happen personally i'm not somebody who's stuck in my comfort zones at one point i was well i won't say i was even stuck in my comfort zone at one point i just think it takes me a little longer for me to get to a certain place where i'm like okay i'll do this some things really do take me a longer time where other things that are really difficult are really easy for me now, it took me forever to learn how to get on the, for me to get on the highway and really start driving with diesel trucks because I didn't enjoy driving in my Pontiac G6. But eventually, maybe three years ago, three years ago, eventually, <laughs> I had the courage and I decided to get up and drive to a city and like just really try it out and figure things out on my own thank god that i had the courage and had the faith to drive um on the highway because i'm telling you i was quoting scriptures like it was nothing 
um, that I did that or I wouldn't be able to um, be comfortable with driving at all on the highways or whatever. But now I'm like, okay, I'm comfortable. I'm used to it. And I've um, gave myself time and preparation to be able to drive and figure out things like that. But if I don't do it for a while, like for a five months or weeks maybe without driving,